Today's video sponsor is GGG We're using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Yo, 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 I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel Ancient Gameplays. Now, today we have once again uh, AMD driver review and this time with the 22.10.1 drivers and as I say in all my videos, 22 is the year 2022 10 is the month October and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of October. As I told you in the 22.9.2 video, well, the, those same drivers, the 22.9.2, were kind of a placeholder with no actual, um, no actual fixed issues, no actual content per se, just and only just the support for Grounded and the support for Ryzen 7000 series, okay? That's it. But it also brought the performance back up with on PUBG uh, compared to the 22.9.1, which is not that bad. But what about the 22.10.1? Let's start with the release notes. So firstly, we have the highlights with only support for Overwatch 2, which was recently released. And now we do have fixed issues unlike the previous drivers. GPU for image processing option may not be available using Adobe Lightroom on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. So if you if you were actually having issues with Lightroom um, with the RX 6000 series, not being able to use hardware acceleration, I believe, uh, yes, GPU for image processing option, maybe that, hardware acceleration. If you're having problems, if you were having problems like that, well, update to the 22.10.1 and they should be fixed, so you should be able to use hardware acceleration once again. App crash may be experienced in Street Fighter 6 beta, so if you're testing Street Fighter 6 or just playing it, well, these drivers are a must. As for the known issues, we have once again the same, Radeon Super Resolution may fail to trigger after changing resolution or HDR settings on games such as Nioh 2. Once again, the VR problems, Oculus dashboard menu and rendered controllers may appear bouncing slash wobbly on Oculus Quest 2 with some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. So once again, this isn't a problem that is happening on all VR headsets and not a problem that is happening for all users, but it is definitely happening. And it has been happening for quite some time and AMD, you need to fix this. I have lots of people here telling me that they are actually going for NVIDIA because your VR drivers are crap. Overall, AMD drivers are pretty nice and they are stable. Uh, they work wonderfully 99% of times. Unless you have a VR headset. If you have a VR headset, well, NVIDIA is the way because the drivers suck for most VR headsets. With stutters, drive, uh, with stutterings, flickering, uh, wobbling, and some things like that. So AMD, just get your shit together with VR and fix these things because people will keep buying NVIDIA for VR if you don't fix these issues. Yeah. Once again, GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing some games on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 570. While previewing the timeline in Vegas Pro, some colors may appear inverted. So if you're using once again Vegas Pro, you're better with the Pro drivers or maybe just use older drivers like the recommended ones, 22.5.1. Five months after and the recommended drivers are still uh, the 22.5.1. Well, continuing, Chromium-based browsers may experience video stuttering on extended monitors with mixed refresh rates using Radeon RX 6000 series. So these, um, the problem here changed quite a bit from the 22.9.2 to the 22.10.1. They actually are now specifying that this happens on Chromium-based browsers, okay? The video stuttering, um, on extended monitors and mixed refresh rates instead of just the previous ones. So I believe that maybe 
for some versions it may be fixed in terms of stuttering. At least uh, for some Chromium based browsers and in some situations where you don't have multi monitors. Um, still, I don't really know because they do not show that on the fixed issues, so it's hard to tell. Just if you were having these issues and you're not having them anymore, just leave a comment in the comment section letting me know uh, if it is actually fixed or not. The next issue is users may encounter dropped frames during video playback using hardware acceleration on RX 6000 series GPUs. Resolution targeted for 22.10.2. Now this is interesting because they added the Chromium, uh, the Chromium based browsers may experience video stuttering and now they have these once again which were presented on the previous drivers, the 22.9.2 but they are now saying that the resolution is targeted for the next drivers which are the 22.10.2. This is actually very nice. Display may briefly show corruption when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT, resolution targeted for 22.10.2 drivers. Once again, very nice, now we know that they are actually aiming to fix these issues on the next drivers, which is nice, and they are also telling us that they will, that they will indeed release other, uh, another driver version, sorry, this month. When vertical refresh sync is set globally to always off, system stuttering or driver timeout may occur during video playback using Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs and once again resolution targeted for 22.10.2 drivers. Not bad. Driver timeout may occur using AGVC hardware encoding which is basically the H265 on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs and once again resolution targeted for 22.10.2 drivers. Now, this doesn't mean that they will be fixed for sure on the 22.10.2 drivers but they are aiming at, fix at fixing all these four issues on the next drivers and if they actually manage to do that it would be very nice and in maybe on the 22.11.1 they could actually fix the VR problems, which would be even better. As for the important notes, we have once again the same, with no mention to the Caldera map on Warzone with a 6900 XT, so they don't mention if they are actually working with the developers, if they are still working with the developers to fix it, if they already fix it or not, but most likely they didn't. Once again, let me know in the comment section. Now as for my experience, oh, them, them throat. As for my experience with the 22.10.1, we need to force adrenaline once again on the first installation, but strangely now, instead of forcing it, instead of being fine on the 5700 XT and, need, and needing to be forced on the 6700, it is now okay on the 6700, but needs to be forced on the 5700 XT. What? <laughs> anyway, these are some of the issues with the AMD adrenaline drivers recently, I don't know. I don't know, I just don't know, I just don't know. And we have bugs with the 5700 XT, um, seems that the overclocks aren't stable as with the previous drivers, so different driver versions may have different overclocks due to offset voltages, so you may need a bit more voltage in some driver versions to have your overclocking profile stable, okay? That's a thing also, but it has been a thing for lots of years, so it's nothing new. And yeah, and works fine on the 6700, um, so yeah, that's basically it for my experience, no crashes, no stutters, everything was normal, yeah. And well guys, that's all for today's video, leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what's your experience with these drivers, for me and for us as a community to evolve, and for AMD as well to watch the comment section and actually see what problems they have or not. That's a very, very important thing for me and once again for the community. As usual, we have the performance comparisons in the end of the video. And that's all. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one, guys. Ciao.